Hi, I'm Scott Humphrey, CEO of the World Floor Covering Association. Thank you for joining me for another Leadership Live. You know, there may be no better picture of what leadership truly is and its potential than that of a coach and their team. The reality is coaches are seeking to pour themselves into a group of players to improve, to enhance their performance. Years ago, when I was a freshman in high school, many, many years ago, my family moved to Tennessee. My dad got a job up there. And so as a ninth grader, I tried out for the high school football team. Now, please understand, I weighed about 105 pounds wet at the time. I was wiry and I had a lot of energy and uh, thought I could play. And the coach pulled me aside and he said, son, listen, I love your energy, but uh, you're going to get hurt out there. So we're not going to let you make this team. But they got a new sport up at the high school where they kick a ball around. I think that might be the one for you. Well, he had no idea how smart he was because I took up that sport of soccer, played it all through my high school career and had the opportunity to play it in college as well. It helped to frame me and the impact of my coach, Colonel Seidler, and the lessons that he poured into me still ring true in my life today of not settling for second best. Of the way you play is because of the way you practice and so many other lessons. What I remember most are the friends that I met during those times the people that encouraged me to try to be better, to seek excellence. I was blessed to make Allstate my senior year of high school, and those same teammates encouraged me on and were so proud of me. And that team, it made all the difference. One of those teammates was a guy by the name of Mike Rampey. Mike was one of my best friends. We met when I first moved up there, and he kind of took me in, and we did a lot of things together. Mike was a fun personality, very popular around the school. And he dared to have somebody with him who wasn't that popular. Mike and I lost touch, as many people do after high school. And, but we'd see each other every now and then at a reunion and maybe exchange a Christmas card here and there. But unfortunately, the last communication I had was to tell me that Mike had passed away. I believe it was brain cancer. It happened rather quickly. I had no idea the parallel tracks that Mike and I would take in life. In fact, he had four kids. I had four kids. We both coached our kids in rec ball. But then it became eerily similar because unlike a lot of coaches, Mike and I chose to pour ourselves into our kids, not just to make them winners in the game, but winners in life. I remember one baseball team that I coached where every game after the game, whether we won or lost, I would give them one life lesson, one thing that they could take from the game and apply to their life. And at the end of the season, I gave them those 10 life lessons and I framed them and handed them out to them. Ironically, at Mike's funeral, they handed out Mike's rules for soccer and rules for life. He had done the same thing. The teams that he coached, he would give them these guidelines to help them understand that it's not just about this game. It's about the way you live your life. That's what leaders do. They create a legacy that outlives them. And so I am sharing my friend Mike's legacy with you today. Lesson number one. 94 out of 100 players won't play in college. If your work ethic matches the 94%, then you know what to expect. Number two, champions always practice at game speed, competing against their teammates to be the best. Then during the games, they're able to relax, execute, have fun, and win. Number three, a quiet team is a losing team. Communicate it with each other and be enthusiastic about it. Genuinely pull for your teammates. Energy is contagious. Number four, don't tell others why your coach should play you. Words are cheap. Rather, get to work, perform, and make it impossible for your coach not to play you. Number five, it's all about the team. When a group of players truly believe that, watch out. Amazing things are about to happen. And number six, eyes are on you both when you play well and how you respond when you don't. Your words, attitude, and behavior mean everything. Choose them wisely. Great lessons from a great friend whose legacy will live on because I'm sharing it with you today. What about your life lessons? Are you passing them on? Are you making sure the next generation understands? And are you coaching your team for success? Not simply to sell more, not simply to do more, but to be more. When you are, 
then you're a coach and you're a leader and you can go out there and lead.